I'm gonna ask you a silly question right now. Do you wanna get more leads for your business? Well, if you have a business, you'd probably say yes to that answer. So I'm gonna show you how to build a high converting squeeze page in ClickFunnels fast so that you can get more leads in your business. Stay tuned. It is that underdog empowerment. Yo, what is up? Zachary Babcock here, a former drug addict, spent over five years of my life in prison, turned underdog entrepreneur and the prove them wrong prodigy and top 200 iTunes podcast host. What is up? I'm getting ready to show you how to build a high converting squeeze page in ClickFunnels so that you can get more leads. Now, squeeze page is very simple and uh, it's it's a really simple layout that I'm getting ready to show you and it's very powerful because you're gonna be able to um, build out a page where you're gonna essentially probably give them something of value for free in return for their email address so that you can remarket to them and send them follow-up emails and send them to your first offer, um, whatever it is, inside of your customer journey. So without any further ado, I'm and don't worry, trust me, This, if you're not a tech savvy person, neither am I. Um, and I know it can be overwhelming if you're not a tech savvy person. I'm gonna show you a step, step by step process on how to build a squeeze page. Let's head to the computer. All right, here's an example of a great opt-in page. This page is actually opting in, uh, converting over 30%, which is what you're aiming for. This one's actually converting over 40%, but there's five key elements that you want to put into your opt-in page. Number one is a headline that uh, grabs the attention and uh, describes the main benefit, not features, benefits. So right here, the headline, how to turbocharge your lead generation and customer acquisition without the overwhelm, stress, and frustration of trial and error. That's clearly speaking to the main benefit of my ideal audience, underdog entrepreneurs. They wanna learn how to turbocharge your lead generation and customer acquisition, and they've gone through a lot of overwhelm, stress, and frustration, and trial and error of trying to do it by themselves. So that's the first thing. You wanna have a, a headline that grabs the attention that states the main benefit. Next, you can put in bullet points. Uh, you don't have to put in bullet points. I didn't put in bullet points here. But if you do put in bullet points, you can put in the bullet points um, describing the benefits more, maybe going in a little bit of the features, but you want to stick to the benefits. All right, features is what your your things do. Like my bullet points right here is audience offers content funnel is what I teach my big idea in here. Um, but we're, we're, we're sticking to benefits because that's what people buy off of. That's what people want. All right, the third uh, piece here that you want to have is you got to have an opt-in form, obviously. You got to have a place where they can put their name and a place where they can put their email address and then a button where they can hit submit. So I'll show you how to set that up here in just a moment. Third piece, you want to have uh, credibility if you have this. Um, this is always good. You don't have to have this, but the, if you have credibility, put it in there. Like I've been featured on Entrepreneur Magazine, The Good Men Project, uh, and all these other publications. So I put that in there. That builds up credibility. Like, wow, you know, this guy's you know been featured in these publications. Uh, he must know something. Uh, and then the final piece here is testimonials, uh, proof. And this is the gold. This is what when people see that other people are getting results. Uh, from whatever it is that they're opting into, it increases. You'll you'll notice your opt-in rates will increase. Uh, it could it could be anywhere, but you'll see a definite increase, sometimes astronomically. So those are a quick recap. You want to have a headline that grabs the attention, um, benefits uh, of uh, b a bullet point of benefits. You don't have to have it. I didn't have it in here. You got to have a place for them to actually opt in and a button for it. And then you want to add credibility and proof. Now let's actually go and set up a funnel. So inside of ClickFunnels, you would uh, you can go to funnels right here, and you can just go to build funnel, or you can add new. Either way. So we're going to add new. I always choose a cookbook uh, builder process. So we'll, we'll start with cookbook. And uh, it makes it real simple for you. So you'd pick your industry. Um, we're just going to go right off of the first one right here, author, speaker, coach. And then the type of funnel, you want to generate leads. So it's going to show you. Uh, you have a, you know, a bunch of different uh, you know different funnels that can generate leads. My go-to and what I highly recommend uh, but it depends on your business model. I go with squeeze page funnel. This is my favorite. This works like a charm for uh, you know author, speakers, and coaches. Um, they'll show you a quick little video on, on what it is, how to build it, whatnot. I always start from scratch. So I pick the blank squeeze funnel. Uh, it's free. Get get the funnel. Boom. It's downloading. All right. Boom. So first things first. Before we actually build the squeeze page and thank you page. We're gonna go to settings. We're gonna uh, we're gonna make sure we're gonna name the funnel whatever you'd want to name it. All right, I'm just gonna put test, 
you would name it, whatever you want. You'd select your domain that you wanted associated with. I'm just going to go with ZacharyBabcock.com. You'd set up your SMTP configuration. That's how you send emails. You would put your Facebook pixel uh, to do retargeting, which is very important right here. You'd paste that in from Facebook. I'm not going to go through all that through the purposes of this video. And then the path. So ZacharyBabcock.com, and then it's going to be forward slash whatever I put in here. We're just going to put tests. But that's it would be ZacharyBabcock.com forward slash tests. You know, if you have multiple funnels with using ZacharyBabcock.com, multiple pages, then you have to have a, a path thing right there. And then favicon URL, uh, if you have one, um, that's where you could uh, make like cool little uh, images like your logo uh, on top of the browser whenever you're actually uh, this right here, like that little deal right there, those icons, you can put that right there if you have a, a logo already for your business. Cool. So um, then you would want to connect your Stripe account if you uh, have one, which you definitely won't want if you're going to be accepting payments. And uh, we won't go into all this. Then we would go down to uh, save and update settings, which I have to make the screen a little bit. Boom. Save and update settings. And then we'd hit that. And then now it brings us back to the main um, steps inside of the funnel. Okay. Now we're actually ready to build the squeeze page. So, like I said, I always find the blank one. Uh, this has got to be down here. Blank one. Boom. Select template. It's going to load up. All right, now, got, now that we got that, that is cool. So, when we were in the settings, that was for the entire funnel. So, that'll be, you know, I, I made a test. So, the actual first page, I'm going to go into publishing. Click this little thing right here. And then, now we make the path for this actual funnel step for the actual opt-in page. So we're just going to put test one, but you would name it something else. And uh, yeah, everything else is cool. Boom. Now I could share when this is ready, obviously. I could just copy this link, share that anywhere, and it'll lead them directly to this page. So let's go in here. We're going to hit edit page. It's going to open up the editor. And once we get inside here, now um, I always start from... Uh, Let's start from complete scratch. All right, so first thing you have to do, you have to add a section. So you just click on that, and you're going to add a section. I like to go full width. And up here, uh, we're going to make this black. So I, I click on this little gear icon. That's the settings. You know, you can clone this exact uh, section. You can save it, you know, to use it as a template. We're going to build it out there right now. I click settings. Inside of settings, I can put like a background image if I wanted to. I can do a whole bunch of things. Right now, I just want to change the background color to black. Boom. Now I got the black uh, background color. <clears throat> I can also do some cool things like uh, make it wider, uh, make it longer, um, <clears throat> all those cool different types of things. So now that we have a section, we need to build a row. A row is where we can actually build in elements after we put in the row. So for this one, I'm going to select two, but I'm only going to use one because I'm just going to put not, I'm only going to put my logo over here. So I'm going to add a new element, and we're going to use an image. Boom. And then what I like to do on this, I like to click the gear icon first. I'm going to go to advance, and then I'm going to click a line and put left, so it's going to put it off to the left more. And then I'm going to go back over here to settings on side of that, and image. I'm actually go here and uh, put my image in there. Uh, you'd have to upload your logo. Uh, obviously, I have mine uploaded in here um, somewhere. <laughs> there we go. Boom. Now I got it. If I want to make this smaller, I just adjust it right here, make it 200. Boom, perfect size. And it automatically does it on the second one. Uh, if I wanted to put a link for there, I can insert a link. I don't need a link because I don't want them going anywhere. This is my opt-in page. So now I got the heading. Now we're going to add a new section right here. Boom. And then we would add a new row. Uh, so uh, we're going to want just one column. You, you, you could set up two however you want. I just like one. Boom. And then now we're going to add our elements. So I'm going to do a headline and we're going to put um, main benefit. All right, now that we got that, cool. Then um, we're going to actually put in our form. So we are going to want to get input. I think I skipped it. Input. Boom. Now, when you put the input in here, you're going to click on the gear icon, and the input type, you have to set it. It's never set, so 
we're going to put full name. I don't, you know, the less you have, the more chance you have them actually opting in. And since that's a name, I have to change the placeholder text instead of saying your email address here. We're going to put your full name here. Boom. And then required, I always make it required. I need to capture that name. Now that one is set. Now we're going to uh, do the same thing. We're going to put another input. And this one, we're going to click on it again. And we're going to make it email address. And since the placeholder text is your email address here, boom, got it. And that's and anytime you select email address, it's automatically required. So that one is set. Now we need a button. So we'll go down here, grab a button from the elements. Boom. Now we click on the button. And I change the background color to match my uh, branding. Uh, I can change up the uh, the uh, thing here. Click to sign up. Boom. I can put subtext if I needed to. I could change the font size. You know, you can play around with it. Uh, what I like to do with this is I click on advance and button width. I just this is a personal preference. Button width. It's on fluid. I go to full width. And it matches up with that pers perfectly. And you can play around with these settings and figure out what looks good for you, um, what fits your style or whatnot. This is just mine right here, but I'm just showing you the key elements. So now that we got the headline, email address, if I wanted to, uh, down here, I can add in a bullet list and talk about the benefits, features, whatever. You want to stick to the benefits. So when you do that next, you would want to add um, your um, credibility if you have it. So for me, I already have mine templated out. So I'm just going to hit a new section, click under my sections because I have them templated and testimonials. Boom. Oh, wait, those are testimonials. I wanted to prove. But yeah, so that's the uh, that's the actual fifth component. So those are already rocking right there. And I'm going to also add my sections, not testimonials. I want as seen on. Boom. And now I got my as seen on. And it is as simple as that. Now, one last thing for the button. I forgot to do this. You got to go in here and actually set the action for every button. So the action is not set right here. For this one, I just want them to go to my thank you page. But I could send them to a different website or send them to a different link. And if I had that selected like it is, I'd go down here and I'd just paste in the URL where I'd want to send them. And I can click to save it in the same window or open a new tab. However, this is an opt-in page, so we just want to submit the order or slash submit the form. And what that's going to do, the only way this button works is if they enter their name and their email address because those are both required. We set those on required on both of those. Once they enter both of those and hit submit, boom, we collected their email address and their name. And now we can remarket to them uh, and send them additional information. And uh, that is how, that's how easily it is to set up a squeeze page and opt-in form inside of ClickFunnels. Um, last thing before you do click save, you're going to have to do uh, general. I go down here. I don't want the uh, affiliates badge and the search engine showing. That's a ClickFunnels icon. So I go to hide because I don't want it showing that. I want my brand. Uh, I'm not trying to promote ClickFunnels. I mean, I could get a paid affiliate commissions, but I'm not really worried about that. I would go under tracking code underneath settings as well. And this is where you paste the event pixel right here on your Facebook uh, page. So right here, I would pick my view content event pixel and paste that in right here. You can also paste other, other pixels if you're using like Google Analytics and so on and so on and so forth. Uh, we won't go into a deep dive on that because that's not what this video is for. It's just talking about setting up the page. And then SEO metadata. So right here, you would, you know put your awesome landing page, your, your title to the page, whatever it is that you do, do it, a short description of what it is, and you put in your keywords that are relevant to your brand, um, that's helpful for ranking and whatnot, and then you put your name, obviously, and you can put your little image in here, um, we're just going to use uh, my prism mugshot, okay, <laughs> yeah, and then there you have it, that is how you set it up, you would hit save, and then, yeah, we would want that saved here it wants me to add a new uh thing because that was what it was using so we're just gonna put tests save now it's saved that's saved right there and then we can hit preview and there you have it that's simple as that it's not the prettiest looking page you want to keep these really simple i don't know how that got in here uh <laughs> let me go ahead and actually delete that really quick Oh yeah, because that's part of uh, my acuity scheduling. It's part of the template that I saved out, so I could just easily uh, delete that, just like that.
and boom. Now we can preview it, preview it out, and boom. It's not the prettiest, but um, you know, if I want to spend more time and actually do it, that's cool. But this is how you set up a how you easily set up a squeeze page inside of ClickFunnels. Uh, I will be making another uh, tutorial on how to actually set up your thank you page. All right, if you found that video helpful, please let me know what you found most helpful in the comments. If you didn't, let me know where I can improve in the comments and leave a thumbs up if it was helpful and give me a thumbs down if it wasn't. That way I know I can improve in the future. Um, definitely make sure you check out this playlist that I'm going to link up right, it's, it's over here somewhere. Check that out for more tutorial videos on ClickFunnels that are going to help you really build out what you need for your marketing uh, so that you can really be successful in business and make sure sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell notifications if you want the best tips on how to turbocharge your business with lead generation and customer acquisition. I'm going to see you on the next video. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. Oh, it is that underdog empowerment. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell.